after, roughly 40 k's from here to Hanging Rock. But we'll go and have a bit of a, uh, a push through and, and see what it's like again. That was the first clearing we'd come across for quite a while where we could camp. Expect the going to be as uh, to be as slow as it is. We may we may need to turn around. Yet we just don't know. Now we did a bit of sort of through the scrub yesterday, trying to find the track in places. So touch wood, we've been lucky. We, we haven't staked a tyre yet. I'm hoping we don't. Uh, it's pretty likely in, uh, in this sort of country. We've got all our own tyre repair gear with us, so we can do a full strip and repair as long as we can uh, patch it up to a good enough condition to get us out, out to one of the communities. We'll be good. Get out of the way. Yeah, if you can, love. That one's going to scratch the shit out of us. Yeah, I know. Uh, can you open your door there? Yep. Oh, Brenny, she's a trooper. We had to come back. Good job, Bob. <laughs> You're a trooper. Ah, look at these five star places I bring you, love. <laughs> uh, it's all good. Part of the adventure, love. She's a bit washed out up here, lovey. Is that a diversion up there? Mm. I think it is, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yes, love, it is. It's a diversion. Quite a few of these uh, sand washouts. Someone else has been through here because there's these little diversions. There been a few of them where they've been uh, just washed away for nothing. But you've got to go steady in this stuff because uh, when you can't see the road, you're not quite sure what's under you. And, uh, there could be some big holes. So it's certainly not the uh, country to go belting through. Last vehicle I saw that did this trip, I think was uh, uh, might have been. I think it was an Isuzu truck, like an Earth Cruiser style thing. So maybe he's pushed through with some of these diversions. It's certainly been quite a while since anyone's been down here. 